Good morning, what's happening? Yeah, we're going for a ride along again already. I gotta go down to the dollar, dollar store. Family dollar store. <clears throat> but first, going to the gas station and wash my window. It is filthy. Filthy, filthy. Could have done it at home, but I didn't think of it until I got in the car. <clears throat> So hopefully we can have a fruitful ride along to the dollar store after washing the window and simultaneously not punching myself in the mouth again. Because that still hurts. Anyway. Off we go. A little music in the meantime. Not 
make it. <clears throat> oh, it's cold out today. It's only like 49 degrees, 48 degrees. It's gonna be that way till Wednesday anyway. Overcast, cold, damp, raining off and on since yesterday. Little sparks here and there. Funeral home there on the right, Frumley's. Been there forever. And here's one of our little parks, Harold Jones Park. Nobody ever goes there. Even homeless people don't hang around there. That's how boring it is. Got a bunch of medical officers over here on the right. Got a big old fancy church here on the left. Nice church, it really is. A lot of money for church. They spend a fortune on them. That's the other part of the church, right over there, big campus. Crazy how much money they spend on these buildings. How's that helping the poor, which is what church folks are supposed to be doing. Helping the needy. Homeless people don't need a big church. They need a sandwich. Some of y'all do-gooders start making sandwiches for them. Stop giving all your money to the church. Just saying, my opinion only. Anyway, got the Walgreens over there on the left. Tuxedo shop here on the right. Getting the grand old tour today, you are. Yeah, I still got the sniffles. I'll have a cold until this. Uh, Kind of a cold, I have it every time it gets cold out. It'll go away when the weather gets warmer, then I'll get pollen sneezes. I was never allergic to anything until I got into my 50s. It's been hell ever since then. Nope, I see the popo up there. See him up that next stoplight, up to my left. See if I can outrun him to the dollar store. Come and get me coppers. You're not taking me alive. No, sir. Yeah, they pay no attention to me. Here we are at the Dollar General. Do they have a Dollar Colonel or a Dollar Lieutenant or anything like that? I'm just wondering if they just have a Dollar General. Seems kind of racist to me. Just saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying stuff. Pretty good at just saying stuff that means absolutely nothing. It's my thing, kind of. Well, this guy couldn't park out in the road far enough, could he? Idiot. Okay, here we are. We're here. Everything should be fine now. I'll be back. Okay, folks, we got her done. We've got a new pillow this time. Time for a new one. Good fluffy one. <clears throat> got some ice cream. Ice cream should be cheaper on cold days, but it's not. <clears throat> got some Pringles for bread. He shares them with me. He loves Pringles. He made a live appearance on uh, Brother the Follies yesterday with me. Of course, on the way up to my lab, he unplugged my computer, so I had to reboot it before we get on. But it was all good. <clears throat>
need it. No road rage incidents today. Nobody pulled out in front of me. I didn't hit myself yet. It's a beautiful day. Cut this guy off, he don't look like he's gonna slow down none. Yeah, so I said it in the last video, these roads are terrible on this part of town. You go up on the good part of town and they're all just brand new roads. You know, the expensive part up by the college. Oh yeah, they're pretty fancy up there with the road work down here. They didn't even bother with us. They fill in potholes with potholes and more potholes. Here a pothole, there a pothole, there a pothole. It's all plug it, plug and patch and crap roads. I mean, look at them. Whole set of railroad tracks there. Instead of digging them up, they just put some uh, asphalt over them. They're just taking the, taking the old rails out and redoing the streets. They really should. I mean, I pay $186 a year in property tax, so I should have the best streets in town. That's what I think. $186. That's all I pay in property tax for the whole year. I think that entitles me to a, a brand new road. Maybe not. Maybe not. But please, come on now, get the bumps out of them. Every once in a while they can repave them. Uh, whatever. Anyway. Do some more fancy uh, driving maneuvers there, backing into my driveway, not hitting my son's car, not backing into the house. Let's see how I do. Let's see how I do today. Can he do it, folks? Can he manage this near impossible task of talking while backing up, paying attention to where he's going? Can he do it? That's what everybody wants to know. I'm thinking I'm gonna make it. That's what I'm thinking, and voila. Look at that, here we are. All right, folks, that's it. Your time is up. Get out of my car. Bye, love y'all. Now, in my next ride along, I'm thinking I'm going to take you up to the good side of town, up by the college, up in that area, and show you the houses and the streets up there. The streets up there don't have potholes. They're all brand new. They're nice to ride on, but I never really have any uh, use in going up there because uh, I've never been invited by anybody that lives up there. Mostly college professors and people like that from the uh, college, Texas University. Anyway. Maybe that'll be the next uh, ride-along video. Y'all have a great day now. Love ya.